Okay, so in this one, and I know I'm just overloading it completely, but I just wanted to let everyone know, I'm going to talk about some of the manga that I've gotten into. I was into anime a lot quick, more quickly, and I didn't start reading manga until 2011. Um, I first read Owen High School Host Club because I was depressed about the anime ending the way it did, so I wanted to catch up, and I love it. The ending is really good, and it just like really made me happy. Then I read Skip Beat because I also was disappointed how that ended. And um, it's actually one of the most popular mangas out there for girls right now. I mean, it's not just for girls, but shoujo. And um, it's just super great. It's about a girl who is deserted by the guy she's loved forever. And so she decides to go into show business and beat him because he's like a pop singer idol. And like ends up loving acting. And it's like just really, really good. And the girl is so funny. And I... Um, also read Blackbird because my friends saw it and they thought it was really funny so I decided to read it and it's pretty pretty like st stupid sometimes but it's really interesting it's about like demons and stuff and then I started reading Kaicho Wa Maid Sama which I really liked because the main character is really tough and cool and stuff um the girl and obviously there's the guy that she likes and I just found a picture of it on Tumblr and I decided to read it so now after all that little brief history I just gave you. We're going to start into my manga project, which I started this year, where I basically just asked people on Tumblr to recommend me mangas with um, good female char main characters, aka, like, not Mary Sue's. Like, I don't want them to be just super cute and be like, oh, the guy likes me. Like, I like them to be, like, awesome, like, in Skip Beat. So first, I read Vampire Night, which was about vampires, and it's, like, kind of really depressing all the time, but I really enjoyed it. And then I read Dengeki Daisy, and obviously these are both in progress still. Um, that one is really, really good, and I love the main character because you didn't realize that she was going to evolve into being such a unique and interesting character. I also read through all of Special A, which I was so glad somebody recommended to me. It's probably my third favorite after Skip Beaten High School Hoax Club because it's just so hilarious, and the main character is just super great, and I love the way that she is. And then, recently, I read Marupuri, which um, I found in, like, the Dusty Bookshelf, um, which is, like, our one of our, like, used bookstores, and I just liked it. And it's kind of really fluff. It's, like, just fluffy. And it's just all about, like, happy endings and cute things and, like, a prince coming out of a magic mirror, but I still really liked it, and it was pretty short, so that was good. So, that's that, and I just wanted to let you know about it. Since I had a little extra time, I thought I'd let you know, one, that Kara and I have been watching a different movie every Friday, and I mean, they've been movies we've both seen, but it's been really fun. We've watched uh, Much Ado About Nothing with Kenneth Branagh, awesome, uh, Pride and Prejudice with Kira Knightley, which is just like, will make your heart die, it's so beautiful. Um, we watched Easy A, which is great, and we watched Kiki's Delivery Service last week, and today we're going to watch Star Trek um, with Chris Pine and Zachary Quinto, so... That's great, and that's been really fun. And I'm going to try to squeeze in my thoughts on the show Extravagant Challenge that I've been watching with Kara. Um, we've slowly been liking it more and more. It's the Taiwanese drama based off Skip Beat. And also it has the um, singers from uh, Dong Hae and Siwon from Super Junior, which is how I found Super Junior. And it's really great. Ivy Chen plays Kyoko, and like she is phenomenal and I just wanted to mention after episode 10 that we watched yesterday that it's just the acting is so great because like I've cried from that before from the way Ivy Chen acts and when she's like doing sad things and stuff which the manga has never made me do and that's nothing no offense to the manga it's just like you can't act with like stills of people and like the way that the main but um Dong Hae acted made me actually feel bad for his character, even though I always hated him in the manga, and, like, feel things that he, like, took the lines, but he changed how you feel about it. Like, it wasn't just generic. And you felt bad for him, and you felt, like, really conflicted about it. So I was just super proud of their acting skills, and I love that show, and I really hope it gets a second season, and I just wanted to let everyone know. So, thanks for listening to my rant. Bye!